when I first started um, with this organization, it was just a hope that we'd be able to see alumni and see youth uh, engage in STEM and be connected to their communities, but actually seeing that, it's so fulfilling. Dr. Eugenia Addy is the CEO of Visions of Science, an organization that brings programs focused on science, technology, engineering, and math to kids in 25 lower income communities across the GTA, all of it free of charge. I think the obvious barrier sometimes are finances. Um, for a lot of these enriched STEM programs, it does cost money. But beyond that, um, we have barriers of access. Uh, where are these programs being held? How accessible are they? How easy are they to get to? And also barriers of just representation. Addie says her love for science began at a young age and was encouraged by her mother and some great teachers, eventually getting an opportunity to apply for an enriched STEM program at the University of Toronto. I went on and did um, a double major in chemistry and biology at U of T and then went on to do my PhD in chemistry at U of T as well. So yeah, I loved it. It's an opportunity she wanted to bring to the doorsteps of students who don't often see people of color reflected in that field. That includes Marcus, who started with visions of science when he was about eight years old. He's now 16 years old, an alum of the program who knows exactly what he wants to do next. Going into a career path in the area of like a scientific range between more hands-on things like engineering towards more um, between like that and more um, theoretical based things such as like physics and things like that and um, even quantum physics I want to like get my hands on a bit and dabble in because that seems really interesting to me. Nawal started going to the weekend program when she was 12 years old and returned to be a mentor with the younger kids in her community. Doing little experiments with them and seeing that like light bulb go off in their head is what honestly made me become a teacher and made me want to become a teacher. Arifa also wants to be a teacher and admits her love for science grew thanks to attending the program in her West End neighborhood. I started off as a participant, so like I was like doing all these experiments, and then I'm like, wow, like I really want to like come back and like help these kids learn what I got to learn. A woman of color being empowered to be able to uh, spearhead an organization like this that empowers others to also follow um, career paths that they might feel like they would not be able to be very successful in. Having Eugenia kind of be there and saying, yeah, look at me, we can all do this. It really does give all of us the chance and the inspiration that we need to actually go into those career options if we do want to. Visions of Science will be holding its annual fundraising gala here at Daniel Spectrum in Regent Park on March 27th. For more information on tickets, how you can donate and how you can be a part of the group, you can head to citynews.ca. In Regent Park, Tammy Sutherland, City News.